Ferrari, real name Edson Arantes do Nascimento, is widely regarded as one of the greatest ever exponents of the sport he helped become known as the beautiful game. He holds the prestigious record of being a FIFA World Cup winner on no less than three occasions, scoring 12 goals in 14 games at the finals. Born in the poor district of Tres Corosaos, Minas Gerais, Brazil, on the 23rd of October in 1940, he remains the most famous footballer in history, and it is his achievements in the FIFA World Cup that have chiefly garnered that accolade. His entrance onto the world stage occurred during the 1958 finals in Sweden. At the tender age of just 17, he was the star of the tournament, scoring six goals, including three in the semi-final and two in the final. The teenager emerged from nowhere to light up the tournament with his dazzling skills. In the quarter-finals, Pelé scored a fine solo goal to give Brazil a 1-0 victory against Wales. The semi-final against France was billed as a contest between the young prodigy, Pelé, and France's free-scoring Juste Fontaine. The script was written for Pelé, and he grabbed the headlines with an opportunistic second-half hat-trick. Pelé's goals in a comprehensive 5-2 win guided Brazil to the final, where they faced the host Sweden. Stockholm was the venue, and the stage was set for Pelé to prove his status as the young prodigy. In the second half, and with Brazil winning 2-1, Pelé scored a wonder goal. He produced a magical piece of skill before providing the finishing touch. Without doubt, a defining moment in FIFA World Cup history. In the final minute of the match, Pelé scored his second goal with a looping header. Brazil won 5-2, and with it came their first FIFA World Cup triumph. Held aloft on the shoulders of his teammates, Pelé was paraded as a hero. He handled the pressure of representing his country with the maturity of a veteran, and he would go on from this success. At the 1962 finals in Chile, an injured hamstring in Brazil's second match prevented Pelé playing an integral part in his country's campaign. Despite his obvious disappointment at not making the final in Santiago, Pelé cheered on his beloved Brazil from the stands. They didn't let him down, and despite going a goal behind, they went on to beat Czechoslovakia 3-1. Pelé was rewarded for his early contributions in the tournament with his second successive FIFA World Cup winner's medal. At the 1966 tournament in England, Pelé was the victim of some severe and unsavoury tackling from opposing players. He was heavily fouled in Brazil's third group match against Portugal and was eventually forced to leave the pitch. With Pelé battered and bruised, Portugal won the match 3-1 and Brazil went out of the tournament. In successive finals, the world was once again robbed of the great man's talents. Following his treatment in 1966, Pelé vowed never to play in the FIFA World Cup again. Thankfully, he had a change of heart and at the 1970 finals in Mexico enjoyed his finest hour. Pelé scored four goals and supplied many assists for his teammates. Despite his goals, the strongest memories of Pelé in 1970 were probably his near misses. A shot from the halfway line against Czechoslovakia that just missed the post, and his dummy around the Uruguayan goalkeeper remain two of the FIFA World Cup's most seminal moments. Brazil entertained on their way to the final, where they faced European giants Italy. Pelé led from the front and in the 18th minute scored Brazil's 100th FIFA World Cup goal with a trademark header. Jumping on the shoulders of Jairzinho, Pelé raised his arms in pure delight.
The last goal of this deciding game, which was Pelé's last FIFA World Cup match, was memorable. Pelé was involved in two of the nine passes that preceded Carlos Alberto's goal. In fact, it was he who nonchalantly played the simple square pass, the same one which had killed off Uruguay and England for Carlos Alberto to score. Brazil had delighted the fans with their free-flowing football en route to a 4-1 victory. Brazil won the right to keep the Jules Rimet trophy after winning it for the third time, and Pelé's FIFA World Cup career ended on a high. In the cauldron of the biggest football show on earth, the FIFA World Cup, the great are separated from the good. On the 11th of December 2000, Pelé was named Player of the Century by FIFA's Grand Jury for his contribution to the game, and he remains a living legend.